I got one of these. I will cry. <laughs> then. Oh, I've got no service. So this is the first ever electric car I have driven. Um, I already feel a bit ill, I won't lie. Um, it did make me feel a bit queasy. Um, but let me give you a bit of a walk around. I'm sure you've seen this online already and there's much better reviews uh, than mine, but let me give you a bit of a walk around right now just so you get an idea. First off, if you are unaware, this is full electric, a bath, and it makes that weird noise. Now I've driven in a bath before, it didn't have height adjustable seats, which made the seating position horrible. But I'll be honest, I actually feel like I sit in this a lot better. So I'm sat, like not on the floor, but I'm not bad. Like headroom's okay. It's got a pan roof, um, but I'm not, well, I suppose if I sat up, I have got a bit of a problem. I have to slouch a bit, but it's not like an uncomfortable slouch at all. It's actually not that bad. Um, the infotainment's quite good. I'm gonna put a clip of my uh, attempt to turn this on. Um, I think it's because of my seating position. I couldn't see the stop start button. So I was looking around being like, how do I turn this on? Let me show you that now. So this is my second press car. <laughs> this is gonna sound really silly, but how do I start this car? It's the Abarth electric. <laughs> I have no idea how to start it. I'm gonna presume <laughs> that's the radio. Do I just press N? I literally don't know how to start this. I'm gonna have to ask someone. Oh no, it's just start, it was hidden, it was hidden. I'm okay. Has it started? Now what do I do? Reverse. Nope. How do I, what do I have to do? Press brake pedal and start then. I've done that. Oh. We have noise. I struggled to turn it on. But, oh well. But yeah, other than that, it's good. I've already found out how to change the modes. That was pretty easy. Um, it is pretty hard plastic inside. So for a car of, I think it's 40 grand, it is quite a lot. The whole point of this is the driving review, really. So uh, let me go set up the camera so you can hear this as I start it up. And uh, let's go for a drive and uh, see what it's all about. I'm on reverse. There's people around. This is so weird. How do I get out of this? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to this electric. Oh, this is horrible. Okay. Ooh. Right. I've got 67% battery. 78 miles it's showing for anyone. In oh my God, it's so weird. When you stop pressing the accelerator, I literally just got thrown forward. What on earth? This is on. <laughs> I love the Alcantara wheel though. This is nice. Oh, okay. I'm not used to this at all. You come off, for anyone who doesn't know, this is my first ever electric car experience. When you come off the accelerator, it literally stops dead. Like, there's, it just stops. I don't like that. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Excuse my language. Um, nice loud indicators like the F type. I'm just excited. I'm literally like someone in a toy shop. Oof, God of Lord. Mode, E mode. Oh, here we go. Scorpion track. <laughs> ah, this is better. So, the, for anyone interested, it doesn't, it, it coasts a lot better. I like this. Okay, so it, it coasts like it's not um, stopping me straight away. Uh, I think it's here. I think this is where I want to go. Yeah, it's down here. Ooh, it's so weird. This is honestly, the brakes are pretty good as well. Sleep. What an experience this is. I've just pulled over again in the Abarth. Makes me feel ill, this electric thing. I think it must be the instant torque. I just can't contemplate it in my head. I'm not used to it. I don't want anyone to see me. 
to, I don't want to bin a press car. It's basically my goal. Should I put a pothole? I'll be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. I kind of presumed this was going to come out somewhere, but it just seems to be a long country farm track road. Why are you sat there, you imbecile? Oh, did I want to go that way? Maybe. I should probably try and work out how to get back at some point. But, I'll be honest, I do feel a bit ill. I don't know what it is. Bird. Bloody hell. It's time I head back, I think. So, I'll be honest, I don't know where I am, so... Google Maps is gonna to have to be my friend here. I'm hoping I'm not far away. Oh, I've got no service. <laughs> well, it's going well. Right, let's go back the way we came and hope that this picks up at some point. Although this might have maps. Search. Uh, bear with me. Ah, oh, I'm not the only person that's typed it in. So that's good news, because other people have got lost. Drive. Okay, seatbelt on, the sat-nav is working, good news. Press brake pedal and click start button. Vehicle is ready to drive. Now I'm gonna put it in eco mode. You arrive at your destination at 12.06. That's not annoying at all. Turismo, E mode. Okay, that helps other people who wanna drive this car next. Then park and brake off and then Oh, we're in park. I genuinely panicked them. <sighs> Excuse my language. Okay, we're off. Oof. It literally, like, I don't like this eco mode. It, it breaks for you, which is, I get the regenerative. That braking thing uh, that stores energy again, but it does make it a very. Uh, oh, as you can see, making my way downtown. Right, uh, I need to get this car back to the people that I borrowed it from. Let's go. It's a really, oh God, I don't like this regenerative braking. It makes me like I'm on a roller coaster. You know, like when you're on a roller coaster and they just stop. It's like that, um, which I'll be honest is not fun in the slightest. Oof, I should have taken my coat off though. I am boiling and I've noticed that the aircon isn't on. Or if it is, it's not doing anything. Um, which I completely understand why, because today's an opportunity for lots of people to test drive this car. And putting it on will be a bit selfish, but it is a bit hot, I won't lie. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, do subscribe. I, I don't know if I'll ever get more cars, um, but these events happen, I think, every year, maybe. Maybe I can get invited to another one. Um, but yeah, I took a day off work for this, everybody, um, which was a bit of a risk, because I don't really know what to expect. But I've actually, Considering I've only test driven two cars, this is the second. I've had a really good time so far. Just hit half a million views, which is incredible, and I'm super happy. Thank you, everyone that has watched and shared. The way you have to think about it is, or the way I think about it is, Wembley Stadium only has capacity of like 80,000. So I've sold out Wembley Stadium multiple times. Sort of. I just don't know the regenerative braking. The acceleration's cool, it feels quick for a car, you know. I, I'm not really sure what I meant to compare it against. I suppose I compare it to a hot hatch. We, we drove the Fiesta ST. It's as fun as that. But the ooh, the Regenta braking is genuinely making me feel like I'm on a roller coaster and I could throw up any time. And I definitely shouldn't take off my coat because it is boiling in it. Go with the gadgets and gizmos. Leg room's pretty good for anyone asking. I can fit my legs underneath, no problems at all. Like
like I said, the seat does go down, which on the other ones it doesn't, like as in the petrol versions. So that's nice. Uh, but from a tall perspective, for anyone out there, uh, six foot seven is my height. So, oh my God, it's the road trip. I will cry. I might actually cry. Emergency road closure. Ah, but weirdly, it's not the way I want to go. Or, yeah, could crying. Could be soon. Um, yeah, from a tall person perspective, sorry, digress. Um, oh my god, we're going off road. From a tall, yeah, it's fine. Um, the seats are comfy, I like them. My bum fits in it and it doesn't feel like it's getting hugged. The side bolsters are good and that feels nice enough, but I don't feel like I'm squished in it, which I did a little bit on the Fiesta, I won't lie. Um, I don't, yeah, I've said it 5,000 times, the regenerative braking is genuinely making me throw up. And it's very difficult not to come off the pedal because you need to slow down. I could do left foot braking, but we could stop quite suddenly, I think. Oh, I, I definitely have this car for about half an hour, so definitely my turn to give this back. But it's been great fun. Uh, my first ever electric car experience was in a, a Bath, whatever they're calling this, Bath Electric? I don't even know what this is called. 